quack, 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 quack. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about The Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks is a 1992 theatrical release. It's directed by Stephen Herrick, cinematography by Thomas Del Ruth, editing by Larry Bach and John F. Link. The music is by David Newman, and it's written by Stephen Brill. Stephen Herrick is best known for Critters, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and The Three Musketeers. Thomas Del Ruth is best known for The West Wing, The Running Man, The Breakfast Club, and Stand By Me. Larry Bach is best known for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Rambo First Blood Part Two, Critters, and Fright Night. John F. Link I covered in the video about Tiger Town. The link will be in the description. David Newman I covered in the video about the Brave Little Toaster. The link will be in the description. Stephen Brill is best known for Adam Sandler 100% Fresh, Heavyweights, Little Nicky, and this. Just like with New Seasons have a giant ensemble cast, there are a lot of kids on this hockey team. There's villains, there's whatever. So I'm only going to cover like the major players, the people who spoke the most, the people that were focused on the most. That is not me dissing any of the Mighty Ducks, okay? We're just covering 11 people, okay? The film stars Emilio Estevez, Joshua Jackson, Heidi Kling, Eldon Henson, Sean Weiss, Brandon Adams, Matt Doherty, Marguerite Moreau, Vincent LaRusso, Joss Ackland, and Lane Smith. Emilio Estevez plays Gordon Bombay and is best known for The Way, Bobby, The Public, and The Breakfast Club. Joshua Jackson plays Charlie and he's best known for The Affair, Dawson's Creek, Fringe, and D2, The Mighty Ducks. Heidi Kling plays Casey and she's best known for Turbulence, Out on a Limb, and this trilogy. Eldon Henson plays Fulton and he's best known for Daredevil, Idle Hands, The Butterfly Effect, and this. Sean Weiss plays Goldberg and he's best known for Heavyweights and this trilogy. Brandon Adams plays Jesse and I covered him in the video about Polly. The link will be in the description. Matt Doherty plays Les and he's best known for Ghost World, So I Married an Axe Murderer, and this trilogy. Marguerite Moreau plays Connie and she's best known for Wet Hot American Summer, Queen of the Damned, and this trilogy. Vincent LaRusso plays Adam Banks and he's best known for Superhero Movie in this trilogy. Joss Ackland plays Hans and he's best known for The Hunt for Red October, Lethal Weapon 2, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and Watership Down. Lane Smith plays Coach Riley and he's best known for Son-in-Law, Red Dawn, My Cousin Vinny, and this. This film was released under the name Champions in other countries. Stephen Brill sued for royalties after writing it, Jake Gyllenhaal turned down the role of Charlie. It was filmed in Minnesota and made $50.7 million in the box office in the United States. It has a 23% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not good. It had very like mixed to negative reviews. Roger Ebert gave it two stars and said only a younger audience would find this appealing. And I find all of that fascinating considering I have only heard good things about this movie since I was little. I remember watching it with my brother, but I didn't remember much of the movie. When I was watching it, some stuff seemed familiar, but for the most part, it was all a very new experience for me. My whole family loves this movie. I've never heard bad things about The Mighty Ducks, so I was shocked to find out it had a 23% on Rotten Tomatoes and that a lot of critics didn't like it. So then it made me nervous about when I was going to watch the movie, if I was going to see, you know, a very fun hockey movie, a kid sport movie like Little Giants, or if I was gonna be like, wow, this really kind of blows as an adult. I have to start off by saying the beginning of this film is so dramatic, like the black with the 90s PowerPoint word art titles. I don't, and just the opening with Bombay missing the shot and all of it, like, you know, and his dad is dead and just, it was so dramatic right in the opening. And I have some ups and downs about this movie. I really enjoyed it, let me say that. I thought it was a very good movie. I cried, I was, it was very heartwarming. I loved the whole like team coming together aspect, but I have to say, Emilio Estevez was not very good in this movie. And that, I know he's a good actor. The Breakfast Club, he's extraordinary in. The scene where he's talking about his dad in The Breakfast Club and like the camera comes all the way around him and he just starts to cry and he's so aware of the camera. I could go on and on about that scene. He's so good in that scene. So for him to not be very good in this film makes me blame Stephen Herrick. So sorry, Stephen Herrick, I blame you 
but the reason Emilio Estevez isn't very good in this film. But the children in this movie were excellent, I thought. I thought the kids did a great job in this movie, especially Charlie and Vincent, well, Charlie, Joshua Jackson and Vincent LaRusso. I thought they both really delivered good performances. Um, all that being said, I think the movie's so fun. I, what did I have? Um, the bonding. Um, I cried when he said, I believe in you, Charlie, win or lose. Like, I was, whoo. So I was, a, like, I was an emotional mess the day I was watching this chunk of movies. Like, I watched Goof Troop Christmas, The Mighty Ducks, and Aladdin all on the same day. And I cried for all three of them. So I just must have been like primed and ready and emotional because this got me right at the end. I cried when he said, you know, I believe in Charlie win or lose. And I was just like, oh, we love when they learn from their mistakes. Uh, um, and I thought the film was funny. I did, I was a little <laughs> upset because there was a lot of like hockey fouls that they just didn't care about. Like Fulton absolutely was like high sticking all over the place. And that's like a major no-no in hockey. So it's just, but also like it's a movie. I can't, you know, I don't care. <laughs> but um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Uh, that's everything I have pretty much because it was a cute movie. I cried and there was a pair of tough. We got them all this time. That's it. My final rating is eight ducks out of 10. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. Our cry count is. <laughs> if you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Follow me on, pa or join my Patreon. Join my Patreon, seriously. Some fun stuff going on over there. Please, please go check it out. There are four tiers, seven, 13, 24, and $49. Um, and there's lots of fun treats and bonuses. And I really want a lot of people to join so I can do the giveaways. You know, I'm gonna be doing a biannual giveaway, a giveaway twice a year. And I can't give away anything if I don't have any patrons. So definitely go over there and check it out. Okay, and then uh, I still have a soft launch of merch. I'm pretty sure so if you haven't bought any merch Please go check it out. There are extended sizing um, But it's still just a test run with this merch company. We will see how I feel about it. Okay Until next time comment subscribe and share if you are so you do and don't be coach Riley about it That went fast we live